What's up guys, it's Andy here, back again in 7 Days to Die. Today I'm going to be demonstrating for you uh, uh, the Bowler mod, which is made by uh, Altera. Uh, it's available on 7 days to moddcom uh, Basically, it's a type of snaring device. Uh, what it does is it allows you to you know, fire a bowler at a, either the zombies or you know, a bear or a dog, and it will freeze it in place for 30 seconds. It's a new buff that's been added specifically for this mod. Uh, it doesn't work on anim the other animals, because um, that would be a bit too sort of overpowered and it would uh, would make catching food early on in the game uh, almost trivial. So uh, it's, it's only for sort of combat. So in order to craft the bowler, um, or the bowler ammunition, all you need is two rocks and two plant fibers. To craft the launcher itself, uh, six wood and three plant fibers. And this is what you end up with. Uh, it's based off the uh, off the the wooden bow. Uh, but there's also a second tier version of it called the uh, advanced bowler launcher, which is gated behind a, uh, a schematic. It's called the bowler book, and uh, can be found you know where where all the other schematics can be found. And uh, once you have found that, you can craft steel bowlers and the advanced launcher. So the advanced launcher needs forged iron, uh, four of them, four leather, twenty wood, and two springs. And the steel bowlers use two rocks again, but this time a scrap cable instead of the plant fibers, which is kind of cool because uh, the scrap cable is only used for the mini bike handlebars, and you can actually get loads of them as well from dismantling those sort of console panels in the uh, in the bunkers and in that water treatment prefab. So you can actually end up with hundreds of these and nothing to do with them. So this is kind of a, a cool way to give it a use. Uh, so basically, I'm going to show you how it works in action. So if we spawn ourselves in a zombie, just a regular one, and we use the launcher. And we actually hit the zombie, that kind of helps. You can see she freezes in place. Um, it doesn't do a whole lot of damage, so it's uh, always best to have another weapon so you can dispatch the zombies after you've uh, frozen them in place. So, as you can see, that's quite effective. So. If we spawn in, say, small, small horde of zombies, we can actually freeze a bunch of them. Freeze a bunch of them. There we go. Which makes them. Can't aim. <laughs> Very easy to dispatch and get rid of. So yeah, that makes fighting small hordes very easy. So you can obviously see how it will be effective in a large horde situation. But I feel the best uh, use of this mod is when taking on the particularly difficult enemies. So if we spawn in a feral, and use the launcher, we can pin him in place. Which allows us to very easily take him down. So yeah, we're taking him out no problem at all there. Again, same for bears as well. If we uh, launch it back out and spawn ourselves in a zombie bear, which is a particularly tough version of the bear. Getting charging at us, we can pin him in place. Again, which um, again makes him very easy to deal with. So yeah, it's a pretty cool little mod. Um, if I was going to make uh, one suggestion, as I'm sure you can see, there's the uh, rather than having the crossbow bolt on the crossbow and the crossbow bolt, uh, the the arrow in the uh, in the bow, it has the uh, the sack prefab mesh thing. So if I was going to make uh, sort of one suggestion for improving this. It would be to add the mesh file for the the, the crossbow bolt and the arrows respectively. Uh, so I think, although it, obviously it's not the same as having an actual bowler on there. It's better than having this sack. Uh, it's more realistic. But other than that, it's a really cool little mod. It's a very intriguing idea. So if you like it and you're interested in using it in your own game, I'll leave a link to um, Altera's page for it on uh, 7 daystomoddcom And other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you next time.